I got accepted into merch by Amazon. This is brand new information. That is brand new information. <laughs> okay, it's not really brand new information. If I'm being honest, I got accepted into the program in, what was it, January 2018. Here's the email. So yeah, about two and a half years ago, but I did absolutely nothing with it. And why did I do absolutely nothing with it? Well, I was focusing solely on my Amazon FBA business back then and also a bit on YouTube. And I just didn't have the time and I wasn't motivated to do this, except I've been getting so many comments recently since doing print on demand videos. Everyone's wanting to know what's going on with Merch by Amazon, asking about Merch by Amazon. So I thought I would see if my account is still active and I would do a journey video for you of me from tier one, I'm gonna explain what that means later, but for me starting from tier one, right at the beginning, right at the bottom with Merch by Amazon and do an entire journey video with you all the way to success or to, you know, failure. I guess we'll have to see. The annoying thing is with Merch by Amazon is it took me so long, I think it took me six or seven months to actually get accepted. And I had this whole big plan when I applied of all these different t-shirts, all this different, you know, marketing, everything I was going to do, I had a big plan. But because it took me so long to actually get accepted, I had totally forgotten that plan. I don't even know why I put that piece of paper. And I think that was also one of the biggest factors why I just completely neglected Merch by Amazon because I just, I wasn't in the right headspace when I finally got accepted. So before we get started in this video, let me just quickly say, if you haven't already subscribed, now is actually a pretty good time to subscribe, especially if you want to stay up to date with these journey videos that I will hopefully be posting along the way, you know, of getting sales, of researching designs, of creating designs, of uploading designs, of going up the tiers. So definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along this journey. And if you already are subscribed, well, you know you are the most awesome human being on this planet. So thank you very much for already being subscribed and let's just get cracking on with the video. First, let me just show you my account. You can see here it's a tier one account and it's got nothing on it, no money, nothing. And, and if you think I'm lying to you, let me go all the way back to, you know, December, 2018, go to the third, I don't know, click go. Oh, it's gotta be a few or 90 days or less. Okay, I did not know that because I have not used this platform. Dashboard is, empty available submissions one tier 10 i thought i was on tier one i think they've got that the wrong way around i should be on tier one available submissions 10. i don't actually know i need to actually figure out this program i'm going to watch a lot of videos figuring out this program and everything i learn along the way i'm going to be sharing with you i just wanted to take a second out and just tell you i finally understood what it meant i have done some research you're allowed one submission per day, and I'm on tier 10, which means overall I'm allowed 10 submissions until I tear up after getting 10 sales. That's how it works. Now, again, the reason why I kept that mistake in is because I just, I genuinely want to show you that I am new to this platform and I am starting fresh. And that's the brilliant part of this journey is that you're gonna be able to hopefully see me go from this person who doesn't really understand the platform all the way to someone who's getting sales every single month with the platform. That is my aim for this series of videos. I am gonna be starting totally fresh, as you can see, and this is gonna be really, really fun to either watch me massively fail or succeed. We've got to stay positive, especially with print on demand. It's a super difficult business. And look, I have no idea if I'm gonna fail or succeed, but I guess you will find out, and I'm not gonna be keeping any secrets here. If I do fail, you will be the first to know after me, obviously, but let's just, you know, get on with the next part of this video. And that is, I wanna tell you what is going to be in this series. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you what Amazon Merch is. And if you already know what it is, stick around because I'm sure there are things you don't know. And as well as that, I'm going to be telling you how I got accepted and my plan for moving forward. And then in future videos, I want to bring you along for, you know, when I create designs, when I'm researching designs, when I'm uploading designs, when I'm getting sales, hopefully. And uh, th basically that entire journey, because everyone has been asking for a journey video and I was just trying to think of something unique, something different, not just making a basic t-shirt, teespring, advertiser on Facebook video, because yeah, that would be a cool video to see, but it's not very, it doesn't have any longevity. I don't like doing things that don't last me a long time. I find it a massive waste of time. Whereas if I start an Amazon merch business, I could be getting sales for many years to come. So in my mind, it's actually worth my time. Whereas just creating a single design on Teespring, you know, and advertising on Facebook, getting a few sales, posting a video on it, that doesn't 
doesn't that's not worth my time because that's going to die out in a month or two you see what i'm saying here right i like doing things that last a long time so Firstly, what is Merch by Amazon? Well, it's like any other print-on-demand company, except it's got a few perks and also a few drawbacks. And let me quickly explain them. So one of the best, best perks of Merch by Amazon is Prime Shipping. Now, I don't know if you know this, but print-on-demand companies are just terrible at shipping. It can take five, six weeks for your customers to actually receive your product. And as well as that, they're paying $5, $6, a crazy amount of money for shipping. Whereas Merch by Amazon, right, you get your product within one or two days with prime shipping. And as well as that, if you are a prime member or your customers are a prime member, I mean, then they will get free shipping. That is unheard of in the print on demand community. That's unheard of in the print on demand, you know, websites out there that actually do this so in my mind that is one of the best perks it's just one of the best perks now the next thing and this is also a very 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 big deal your customers get access to amazon's legendary customer service and you know i don't care if you think amazon's customer service isn't good I am a true advocate of their customer service because I have literally had to ask them all sorts of things, you know, dealing with refunds, dealing with problems, dealing with customers, whatever it may be. And for a seller and for a customer, Amazon's customer service is just unmatched. And, you know, print on demand have a, what did I work? I call it a bad reputation, right? Print on demand companies have a bad reputation when it comes to customer service. They're generally quite terrible. They generally ignore customers and sellers. And that is why I just think Amazon is so good. In fact, literally, you can call up Amazon at any point for anything. In fact, you know, if you if you you just want to have like a morning coffee, this isn't coffee, this is water. I don't know why I'm lifting this up, but you can literally just call them. Morning coffee. Hello? It's Amazon. How are you doing? Literally, if you really want it, you can have a conversation with them over your coffee. Now, I wouldn't recommend that because it's a massive waste of time. But my point being is Amazon's customer service is just unmatched, unparalleled, brilliant. It's just so much better than any other print on demand company. And then the third, the third perk, right? And this is also a pretty, these are pretty big perks, I have to say. I've written these down here and they are pretty big perks. The third perk is when you upload your designs onto Amazon, you're getting access to their organic traffic, right? And I wonder, do you know how many people actually search Amazon every single month? It's not a million, it's not two million, it's not a hundred million. It's over 190 million people. That is a humongous number of the highest proportions. That is ridiculous that you can upload a design onto Amazon and there are literally over 190 million people searching their website every single month. That's unmatched with any other print on demand company. So those are the three perks, okay? In my mind, I'm sure there are lots of other perks, I don't doubt it, but those are the three major perks. Now, I do have some drawbacks. I have four drawbacks, even though the last one's not really a drawback, but let me go through them. The first drawback is the base price. The base price is really, really high, like really high. I think it's like $14 or so. It's ridiculously high. But the thing is, the way Amazon works is not on, you know, you can pick whatever price you want and then you sell it for that price. You can't sell a shirt for $45 on Amazon. You have set prices. I think they're like $50.99, $17.99, $19.99, $19 like stuff like that. And then you get royalties depending on which price bracket you're in. So for example, if you're in the $15.99, uh, let me, I've written it down here. If you're in the $15.99 bracket, you'll get $2.21 uh, royalty. If you're in the highest bracket, which is $25.99, you'll get a $9.77 royalty. So profit of $9.77. So yes, that's pretty good, but it's also annoying in the sense that you don't have full control over your pricing. So I, I would say that's a bit of a drawback. Now for me personally, I'm probably going to start selling at $15.99 just because like $2.21, it's still profit and it's all organic sales. I'm not going to advertise. So I just want to get my I just want to get the company, you know, kickstarted. Now, the second, the second drawback is it can take absolutely ages to get approved. As I told you earlier, it took me a good seven months. I think it was seven months. I could be wrong. We're talking years and years ago now, but it took me a good seven months to get approved to sell on Merch by Amazon, which is a huge amount of time, a huge amount of time. And if you're thinking, you know, oh, I've got this big plan. I'm going to you know, design tomorrow, I'll upload on Friday, and you know, I'm gonna get designs going by next week. I'm gonna be getting sales in two weeks time. No, you might 
it might take you a year to get approved. I've heard of people taking two years to get approved. So hopefully it doesn't happen to you and there'll be tips at the end of this video on how to actually get approved more fast, more speedily, more quickly, faster, whatever the word is. It can take you a long time to get approved. So if you haven't already submitted your application, do it today and I will tell you how to do that later on in this video. The third one is designs are limited to tiers, right? So for example, you start on tier one or it looks like for some reason you start on tier 10, whatever that means, right? But you get 10 designs at first, that's how it works. In the first tier you get 10 designs and then you go up to tier 25 and you get 25 designs, right? And the idea is, oh, it is tier 10, right? That does make sense because you get 10 designs, tier 10, tier 25, you get 25 designs. Right, that makes sense. I'm still figuring this out. I'm still figuring out Amazon merch, okay? So go easy on me here. Don't give me hate. Give me love. Give, give me the like button. Click the like button. Okay, so yeah, it's annoying because let's say you want to upload 100 designs all at once and just, you know, start hammering your print-on-demand business. Well, you can't actually do that because you start at tier 10 with 10 designs and then you go up to tier 25 with 25 designs. So what you can do is if you want to override this you can buy the shirts yourself and jump up the tiers like that because you need to get 10 sales to go to tier 25 and then 25 sales to go to the next tier and then that amount of sales to go to the next tier that's how it works and you can't you can buy the shirts yourself however i don't recommend that because it's extremely expensive and what's the point the only benefit is you could probably work your way up the listing by buying the shirt yourself but don't do that just don't it's going to cost you a lot of money and it's not worth it right and then the fourth drawback and this isn't really a drawback i just have put it in here because you know it seemed like a drawback and that is amazon will auto delete your designs if you don't get any sales within 180 days so if you launch a design today and 180 days later you don't get a single sale they will delete that design if you get one sale they'll keep the design on there forever okay so you just need to get one sale now the reason why this isn't really a drawback is firstly if they delete your design after 180 days, on the 181st day, you can just re-upload that same design and have it going for another 180 days or however long it takes to get a sale. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is if you haven't got sales after, I would say 60 to 90 days, I would delete that design anyway. Make room for another design because if you're limited to 10 or 25 designs, you don't want one you don't want taking up your account that isn't getting you any sales. So I would reevaluate every 30 to, sorry, every 60 to 90 days and actually see what's getting you sales, what isn't getting you sales. So that's how I would do it. So that's, it's not really a drawback, but you know, it could still be considered a drawback. So let's quickly just move on to getting accepted and then we can work our way into my plan and what I'm going to be doing with this journey video. So getting accepted, you want to go to this website, merch.amazon.com forward slash landing, and you'll be greeted by this lovely web page. And all you have to do is you have to click request invitation, okay? Once you click request invitation, it will ask you to log in to Amazon or create an account. It only takes a couple of minutes to create an account, but if you have one, just log in. And then it will take you through the application process. The application process is quite straightforward. I can't take you through it because I've obviously already got an account and I don't wanna create another one because I've heard horror stories of people who have multiple Amazon accounts. But basically, it will ask you a bunch of questions. If it says it needs your business name, you can just use your personal name. If you don't have a business, that's absolutely fine. And secondly, when actually going through the process, make sure that you list the areas that you are going to be marketing your t-shirts because Amazon likes to see that you actually have audiences and you're going to be sending traffic their way. If you don't have any audiences, then obviously you can't do this. That's absolutely fine. One important thing to note is don't beg for an account. Don't you just you you want you don't want to come across as needy. You want to just come across as you're going to help them, okay? And this is something I actually this is information not information. This is um th that was an idea I got from someone else. It's not my idea. But really, don't just be like, oh, I need money, please, please accept me, blah blah blah. Don't do that. You want to show them that you're going to provide value to their platform. So you want to say, I am a graphic designer. I've got this many years experience and I've got all these designs and I'm ready to go with a good bunch of designs to put on the platform. And I think they'll do really, really well on Amazon. Stuff like that, right? You want to try and sell yourself, but not beg. Hope that makes sense. Okay, now on to the next part of this video is what is the plan moving forward? Well, the plan moving forward is, well, I've got this video coming out. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to research and create well, I guess 10 designs and it will take me a while because each design will probably take a couple of hours to research and actually design because I want to create really good designs. Um, and then as I'm doing that, I'll obviously video that process. I'll make another video on that, upload it to YouTube so you can watch how I do the research, how I actually create the designs, all of that kind of stuff. You're going to see it all. So like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, yo. Now, if you like this video, you'll like this video up here as well. This is 
if you're into merch by Amazon, you might be into Amazon FBA where you sell physical products on Amazon. And in this video, I tell you my story of how I made $500,000 or more than that now selling on Amazon. So go and check that video out because I know you're going to absolutely love it.